In this video, we want to integrate 3x squared plus 2 over x plus 2 times x squared plus 4. We're going to solve this using partial fraction decomposition. So x plus 2, if we set that equal to 0, we get a real root. So that's why we put a on top. x squared plus 4 has no real roots, so we put bx plus c. Now the next step is to multiply both sides by x plus 2 times x squared plus 4. On the left side, we're left with 3x squared plus 2, and then that's equal to a times x squared plus 4 plus bx plus c times x plus 2. Notice there's three unknowns, so we need to plug in three values for x. The first value is to make x equal negative 2, so that cancels out the second term here. And so we have on the left 14 equals 8a, which means a is equal to 7 over 4. Another good candidate for x is 0 because that makes b here 0. And we're left with 2 equals 7 fourths times 4 plus 2c, which means c is negative 5 halves. Finally, we want to solve for b. So pick any value. Let's say x is 1 and we get b is 5 fourths. So now we have a, b, and c, and we just need to plug it back in. So a we set as 7 fourths, b is 5 fourths, and c is negative 5 halves. So instead of integrating the left, we're going to integrate the right. But first let's just do some algebra. Um, actually, yeah, so before we do any algebra, um, Let's first find the integral of the left one, so the 7 fourths over x plus 2. We factor out the 7 fourths, and then the antiderivative 1 over x plus 2 is ln of x plus 2. On the top here, I factor out a 5 fourths, and then I'm left with x minus 2 on the top. And so for this one, we're going to split it up into two separate integrals. And the first integral, we're going to use u substitution let u equal x squared plus 4. So du is 2x dx, and x dx will just be 1 half du. So 5 fourths times 1 half is 5 eighths. And then for the other integral, what I did instead is um, factor out a 4 in the denominator, and so I left with x squared over 4 plus 1. Now the Antiderivative or the integral du over u is just ln of u, and okay, so now this 4 and 2, so 2 over 4 becomes 1 half. When you bring that over, 5 fourths times a half is 5 eighths. u we said it was x squared plus 4, and so x squared over 4 you can rewrite it as x over 2 quantity squared. And we can make a substitution, let u equal x over 2, du is 1 half dx. So that's just 1 over u squared plus 1 du. And then obviously uh, dx was 2 du, so the 2 came outside, and that's why it turned from 5 eighths to 5 fourths. The antiderivative 1 over u squared plus 1 is the inverse tangent of u. And now we just need to replace u with x over 2 to get our final answer.